Math activities for substitute teachers can be a great way to keep students engaged in learning while you're absent. These activities can range from simple and straightforward to more complex and challenging depending on the abilities of your students. In today's episode, I'm gonna share with you seven of my favorite math activities to leave for a substitute teacher. Stay tuned. What's kicking educational rock stars? Welcome back to another episode of Teaching Made Easy, where I strive to bring you practical tips, inspiring stories, simple classroom systems that actually work, and expert insights to help you become a more effective and competent K-5 teacher. I'm your host, Farah, the Center Fairy, and in each episode, we'll explore a different aspect of teaching from lesson planning and classroom management to student engagement and professional development. If this is your first time joining me here on the channel, be sure you hit that like and that subscribe button and Click that bell so that you get notified when I go live or upload a new video here on the channel. This week we're chatting all about substitute teachers and math activities to leave for them to keep your students engaged. So grab a cup of coffee and get ready to dive in and be inspired and empowered. We all know it's much harder to be gone from school than to be at school. You wanna make sure that your students are still learning, but it can be hard to know what your substitute teacher will be able to get done. However, you can make your math lessons easier when you're gone with engaging math games. There are a few low prep effective math game activities that are perfect for days you have to be gone. My favorites are math scavenger hunt, math relay race, math bingo, math word searches, math escape rooms, and math debates. First up, math scavenger hunts. A math scavenger hunt is exactly what it sounds like, a hunt for math problems to solve. All you need to do is create a list of math problems or equations and hide them around the classroom or even the school. Then divide your students into small groups or teams and have them work together to find and solve the math problem. This activity is perfect for engaging students while they work on problem solving and critical thinking skills. Next up, race to win. This game is super easy to use. All you need to do is divide the class into teams and create a series of math problems or equations for each team to solve. Each team member has to solve one problem before passing the paper to the next team member. The first team to solve all the problems wins. This math activity for substitute teachers is easy because it doesn't require any setup for the teacher. This means that if you have to be gone suddenly, it is an easy game for them to play. Math Relay Race helps students with teamwork and it helps them review math concepts that they've previously learned. Next to make the list, bingo! To play math bingo, you just need to create a set of math problems or equations and write them on slips of paper. Place the papers in a bag or box and have the students take turns pulling out the problem and solving it. If a student solves the problem correctly, they can place a marker on their bingo board. The first student to get five in a row wins. This math game for substitute teachers is great for reviewing previously used math concepts. You can pre-prep this activity for each section and use them in your centers as well. Simply use your iris boxes to organize the pieces and put a few paper bags in there to use to put the slips of paper in. Now the next game is a math word search. Math isn't just about solving problems. Recognizing math terms is just as important. A fun math game to leave for your substitute teacher is a math word search. Creating a math word search using math terms or concepts that students have learned. This is gonna help reinforce math vocabulary and it can be a nice activity to do if students get done early with other work. Next on the list, math escape rooms. Math escape rooms are great for your older students. These activities tend to be challenging and engaging. Most math escape rooms are self-correction. To create a math escape room, create a series of math problems or equations that students must solve in order to unlock clues. These clues and codes let them escape the room. You can add some literacy in there too and make them a little bit more treacherous. For your first and second grade students who like to solve a mystery, you can check out my color by code math reviews as another no prep option for your subs. These activities give students a chance to work on math skills as well as their fine motor skills. Plus, since students are creating an image, it's easy to self-correct. You can click the link in the description to grab these for your first and second grade classrooms. Now last up is math debates. Much like math escape rooms, math debates are geared towards your older students. To play math debate, divide the class into small groups and have each group research a math concept or theorem. Next, have the groups present their findings to the class and have a debate about the concept. In the debate, students can talk about the pros, the cons, or any controversies surrounding that concept. This activity allows your students to work on critical thinking skills, public speaking skills, and reinforces math concepts. Now you may be asking, 
Where do I find these equations for these math games? If you're looking for equations, you can pull some of the ideas from your math centers. Our math centers for grades kindergarten through fifth grade are differentiated, so you're gonna be able to challenge your students as well as give them a little break with some easier questions while you are gone. If you have those multiple grade levels, you can find different problems from a variety of different grades, whether it's kindergarten through fifth grade. Using math games on days that you have to be out is a perfect way to ensure that your students are getting a great review on a day when you have to be away. In addition, these games are simple and require little prep on your part. You can include the rules in your sub binder to make this even easier on your sub. No matter what activity you choose, you can rest easy knowing that your students are engaged and getting important review during the time that you are gone. Now, if you're looking for more tips, strategies, and simple systems to take back into your classroom to make your teacher life easier, check out the other videos on your screen. Thanks for watching and keep being an educational rock star.